We're welcoming back college football analyst Joe Gavassi, and we're going to break down the big one because tonight is the night. Clemson versus Alabama national championship game. There's a lot on the line. The sports books have seen this uh, line itself bouncing back and forth. And Joe, like myself, is all over Alabama. So first of all, Joe, I hope you had a great profitable weekend beating the book. Um, it's great to have you back. And if you will, give us your insight and breakdown on why why you like Alabama given the six and a half tonight in the big game? Well, let's wind up a very profitable college football season for us with this selection on Alabama, although no, no score would surprise me in this game. But Alabama, I think, on balance has more going for it. First of all, credit to Clemson for what a fantastic season. Remember, this is a team that returned just three starters on the defensive side of the ball and lost their offensive coordinator, Morris, and many thought that would be a, a, a virtual death knell to an offense that functioned beautifully underneath him. But, of course, quarterback Watson, a dual threat and an outstanding athlete, made it to the Heisman Final Three, and then a defense that performed admirably in the face of only returning three starters. In short, Clemson deserves to be here as they are undefeated at 14-0, including the championship bowl victory against Oklahoma, in which they absolutely rolled them over land for over 300 yards, quadrupling the rushing total of Oklahoma. And now, although Clemson did not play nearly as hard a schedule as Alabama, we must note that when Clemson has stepped up in class the last four years against all opponents they played, a perfect 4-0 and straight up in ATS as underdog, including wins over such notable programs as LSU, Ohio State, and Oklahoma twice. Now they will face arguably their biggest challenge of any of those in playing Alabama for the national title game. And Alabama just keeps getting better and better. After that September loss to Mississippi, keyed by the five turnovers in that game, Alabama has refused to wilt, defeating every SEC quality opponent, all of whom were bowlers by at least 13 points, then rolling into the championship game and destroying Michigan State 38 to nothing, totally dominating both overland and through the air. This is a team playing their best ball of the season. They have balanced their offense behind quarterback Coker, who had an outstanding game against Michigan State, and of course, running back Henry in the backfield, the Heisman Trophy winner. But it's the defense that always makes this team stand out, and it is number one to land again this year, allowing just 13 points a game and dominating in every aspect of the game. Quick look at the bowl season finds that SEC bowl teams were 8-2 and two straight up in ATS, reinforcing the concept of many that this is the best team and the best conference in the land. And, of course, Alabama right at the top of that pile. Remember, Alabama dominated similar opposition throughout the whole season, and I believe they can do so again with Clemson as Nick Saban extends his championship record to 5-0 and straight up in ATS and gets his fourth national title seven years. Joe, yeah, those are very good points, and uh, there's nothing I could add to those points because you've just covered it completely, but, you know, that's a big factor that not a lot of people are aware of. I, I myself was aware of it, and you brought it up, the fact that Clemson only returned three starters on defense, and yes, they have put together a, a very solid year, and my hat's off to Dabo Sweeney, but you nailed it also. The strength of schedule uh, is the reason that that defense was able to adapt and adjust and do what they did. Again, not take taking anything away from them, but I just think they're stepping into a different league, uh, not only from SEC and strength of schedule, but there's one big factor that I like because I'm also on the same side as you. Uh, pedigree, okay? Championship pedigree experience, all right? And I've even heard some points that made sense. Yes, they said when Saban won his titles, um, he had three weeks to prepare. It was before the playoff structure. And now things are one week and that changes everything. But you know what? Nobody adjusts to change any better 
different than Nick Saban, so I can absolutely not go against him. Um, I just think it comes down to coaching and experience and smart decision making. I even kind of see this playing out like the Michigan State game, a soft, slow first quarter, teams figuring each other out, and then bam, I think they're just going to put it on them. And of course, Derrick Henry, all right, he found that end zone 25 times this year, Joe. I, th I think he's going to find it again tonight. And a defense is what wins championships, and they have the defense to do that. So we're on the same side. Uh, matter of fact, I have a very, very large wager with uh, Ted Savransky from Vegas on this. He's got Clemson in six and a half. And of course, I've got Bama minus the six and a half. And uh, if I win that bet, he's flying me out to Vegas for a steak dinner. And if for some reason he wins that bet, I'm flying him to Costa Rica for a steak dinner. So there's a lot on the line on this end with me, but I'm looking forward as a fan to enjoy it. So you heard it, everybody. Joe Gabasi, and he has been nothing but profitable in college football. He's going with Alabama and Nick Saban to take the title home tonight and to cover. So jump aboard. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Joe, we look forward to having you back again uh, real soon, and uh, let's celebrate together tonight. Roll Tide. Roll Tide, baby.